load up Studio One. So let's do that. Title, whatever you're gonna call it, demo. And now this right here is where you want to go to to change where you're gonna store that song's files. So we're gonna click the dot, dot, dot. And I have an external hard drive in here. It's a two terabyte. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there and put it in my DAWs folder. This helps things run better. Hit open, bam, changed it to it. Now all the files will be stored in there. Sometimes before on other DAWs, you had to create the folder of the song in order to put the files in it. This on Studio One automatically creates the folder of the song. So if we hit okay, there it is, go to finder. All right, so it's gonna be over here in two terabyte. And it's gonna be in DAWs, demo, there it is. See, it already made the folder for it. And once I start creating files and all that, it's gonna store them all in here, it's gonna store the session. I should just do it right now. Let's go over to Studio One, hit File, Save As, in the demo folder, see? I'm gonna hit Demo. So now you saved a session. And if I started creating audio files, it'd make an audio folder automatically and create those in there as well. Back to Finder, Oops, see you save the project. And as you do more things, it keeps creating more files in that folder. Super convenient. Studio One does it awesome. Okay, so in order to change the default location, so you don't have to do that every time, and then you're gonna go over here to Studio One, Preferences, or short key is gonna be Command, comma. You're gonna go over here to the Locations file, User Data, and User Data Location Songs, Projects, and Presets. This is it, you click these little dots so you don't have to change it every single time you create a new song or project. So click that and then you can set the default location, hit okay, and then it'll automatically go to it every time right here. Same thing with creating a new project, automatically go to right there. All right, that's about it, peace.